this is the the rail box that came with this is the part that Joe's hanging up right now but we got all of these pieces from Menards but this rail box comes with all of the so it comes with all of those so it's just super simple to put up and it's even more simple if you're not the one putting it up but we ordered our door how long ago did we order this door like two or three weeks ago three weeks ago three About weeks four weeks ago I let it sit there for a week. Yeah. Okay, that's true. So they didn't have any of these in stock, so we ordered it. They called us when it was ready. Joel picked it up yesterday, and we sanded it last night, you said, with 220 grit paper. Yep. And then stained it. I can show you guys the stain that we used if you want, if you're Early interested. American. Early American. Uh, stain and poly. Stain and poly. Yeah. You, you got that can from that's Menards that's also. Name, the brand. The wood, no, the wood stain. You got that stain from Menards too, right? Yes. And this is a non-wipe stain, so all we did was brush it on. Yep. And then um, we put extra painter's tape along the actual mirror so we didn't scratch it when we had it um, up on the, the horses to stain it. But these are the rails Joe picked up. And he's hanging up the actual rail that the it will ride on. This is the stain we used. If you want to go ahead and screenshot it, you can. We used it on our other barn door that we hung up and we love it. So we used it again. So all you're going to need is stain. Your paint brushes, I would definitely suggest. Um, I would definitely recommend a couple different sizes. It just made it really easy to um, get in those little nitty gritty places last night. So I would recommend that. And then some sort of towel or something just to um, wipe up any drips or spills or anything like that. So that's what we used last night along with our two, 220 grit sandpaper. So what he's doing now is putting on the stoppers on either end. Is it just a little screw you guys tighten down or what are you doing over there? Hmm? What are you doing over there? Yeah, I'm tightening it down. Get a little screw in the end of it. Well, top of it, bottom of it. So what we're doing next is just lining up to figure out where we need to drill the holes in the door. All we did, um, what you guys just saw, is we measured the distance between each hole on the roller piece here and drilled it into each side or each end of the door so we can go ahead and get ready to hang the door up. So it'll sit just like this when it lines up with the holes that we drilled in there and it'll hang from and then the door itself will hang from the piece that we already hung up above the door there. So I wanted to show you guys what the door ended up looking like. I'm trying to get the lighting to uh, work out, but it's just, we're doing our best here. But this is what the door ended up turning out as. It's gorgeous, beautiful. We still have our mess up here, but it, it's fine. You guys don't care about that. But the door turned out great. It was a really good and easy weekend project for um, me and my husband. We were able to do it together with all of our kids running around, no problem. Um, just for reference, we have three children, all four and under. So, hence, our middle child. But, 
but it turned out really really beautiful we're obsessed with it this is our second barn door that we've hung in our house um once again i just want to do a recap here we got he got the door the stain the door handle here and the railing kit all from menards so just for reference i think this door costed um like everything in total costed right around 300 dollars so not super cheap but not super pricey either and it's gorgeous so um but this is the handle we ended up getting um but yeah we love it it's gorgeous and i'm super excited to have it um in our bedroom now i don't want to stay